Hello and good morning everyone from the Speed Javanator 3XL channel and welcome to my Moto Ground 3 Tour Mode, the Moto 2 series and this is race 9 of 21 of our uh, Moto 2 uh, schedule. If you guys missed the, uh, the previous one which was the uh, Circuit de Barcelona de Catalunya in the second Spanish Grand Prix, be sure to check it out on uh, youtube.com slash speedjavanator3 for replay coverages and if you want to check live coverages you can check on uh, Facebook Live and twitch.tv slash speedjavanator3. And if you want to leave your links and comments and then subscribe to my channel down below, be sure to do that on the red bell and then the purple heart on the followers button on twitch.tv and replays on youtube.com slash speedjapinator3. Well, we are now at the uh, German Ground 3, and this is one of the most toughest uh, on the calendar at the Sasha Ring, even though it's short, but it's tough because there's a lot of left turns and uh, a lot of turns here at the, uh, at the Sasha Ring circuit. And, and see why we have a commanding lead so far in the first nine races. We have won. Well, just to read to my calculation, uh, we have won six out of the last uh, eight races so far. And uh, the only races that we didn't win was at Argentina and then also Miguel Circuit at the Italian Grand Prix. And this is number episode number thirty. And this is the German Grand Prix here at the uh, Liquid Molly Motorrad Grand Prix at the Sachsen Ring. And this is the uh, most toughest one on the calendar, even though it's short, but it is the toughest one because there's a lot of left turns here. And then the next one, episode number 31, we go to with the Dutch Grand Prix in the Netherlands at the uh, trip at the Double T uh, Ascend circuit. That'll be uh, the next one coming out here for the Moto2 uh, Grand Prix. And we've been doing a uh, fascinating job here at the uh, Sachsen Ring. We were uh, fifth fastest uh, at minute 32. 353, but that was under rainy conditions, and then we got the fastest lap uh, with a minute 26.522. We may or may not win this race because uh, because we've already got six wins under our belt, and we have a commanding lead in the point standings right now. So we'll try to see if we can stay consistent and then stay uh, uh, positive, and then see if we can try to maybe get a top three or or a podium finish over here. But um, and then we were slower uh, in the third practice session because. Um, Remy Gardner got the fastest lap with a minute 26.223. But uh, it will slightly maybe go down a little bit, but uh, if we keep it under the minute 26 and stay consistent, then we do, might do just fine. And then may be able to be some wipeouts over here because the Sasha Ring circuit is a tough circuit so to be uh, turning uh, over here. But even though it's very short, you can run a minute 26 here, and uh, I think the race is going to be about 28 laps. Uh, but it is going to wind down quickly. But the, these Moto2 bikes uh, will be running a lot more quicker than expected. So we're going to do like a corner entry and then corner. And, you know, we've had difficulty in the first corner uh, here at the, uh, the Sasha Ring. So we have to keep it a little bit wider so that way we don't fall off earlier when we hit the brakes. So we have to win them uh, quite gently. So let's see what we do here. Uh, I know this is a tough circuit uh, here at the, uh, at the Sasha Ring. And we're in the halfway point of the season. And this is race 10 of the Moto2 uh, schedule. And we made it into the second qualifying session, so let's see how we can do here at the, uh, the, the Sachsen Ring circuit here in Germany. We're back at the circuit for the second qualifying session. The first riders are about to get on the track and battle their way to get the best starting grid positions. And, and also in real life, uh, the Moto Grand Prix uh, uh, and the Moto Grand Prix uh, schedule, uh, they're, they're racing this weekend right here at the Sachsen Ring at the German Grand Prix. So you'll be able to see that on uh, Red Bull TV and the uh, Motors Grand Prix uh, television. So it, it ought to be a good race uh, this weekend for them. And then Formula One's racing at the French Grand Prix. And let's hope we can get this episode uh, uh, done with. The, and then uh, we're going to watch qualifying for the French Grand Prix at the La Casca Circuit at Paul Richard. And then that's our returning to uh, Nashville because we're watching most of that for most of the day. All right, so we were in P6, and, and we made it into the qualifying two round, and then four of the guys had to go to, in qualifying one that were below the top 14, uh, had to advance, like Tony Ar Ar Arbelino, Cameron Bubirier, and, my, and then our third Sky Racing teammate, Celesto Petty, and then Marco uh, Ramirez. And there you see uh, Remy Gardner has done a good job. My teammate, uh, Bassetti, has done a great job, and then Sam Lowe's has done a good job, too. All right, we only got about 15 minutes, so we got to hurry up and then try to make our adjustments. And we're going to go to soft tires on, on both of them. 
decided to go with the soft tires and uh, see what we can do here. It's going to be tough, but uh, let's see if we can try to get him into 26. Here we can see the riders and engineers discussing changes to the bike setup. At times like these, even the smallest detail can be. We can see the mechanics and engineers surrounding the rider. He must be revealing how his ride feels to help his team. Just a few last touch ups to his suit and helmet, and he's ready to go. We've noticed that the mechanics have been really active in the last few minutes. And then, uh, there you see my special helmet for this race. I'm going to be wearing the, uh, I'm going to be wearing the red helmet. Alright, this is, here we are. It's the toughest, uh, shortest race circuit in the Motor Grand Prix. And there's so many turns here. Right now, the time to beat is a minute 27, but they are going to get faster. Hope we don't fall off in the first corner. We've had a lot of trouble with this corner right here. Bodesi is a uh, minute 27. Uh, got a little bit too wide going into that turn. Well, we are we're on the top spot, but we need to get a little bit faster than that. Minute 26 for point 319 for uh, Al Alguri. It's not going to be a fast lap. Well, he has returned to the pit, but we can't tell whether we're going to have to uh, make some adjustments on the bike and then see if we can try to get it a bit more faster. Just a few last touch ups to his suit and helmet, and he's ready to go. We've noticed that the mechanics have been really active in the last few minutes. Alright, we got about seven minutes to go, and man, how in the world are we going to beat uh, minute 26.187? That was Remy Gardner and Raul Fernandez that are on top right now at a minute 26.108. So we're down into P15, but we need to get back up there. Oh, 
Oh no, and I slipped off. I just went too quickly going into that turn. See if we can take another lap out of it. We got two laps on it. This is the shortest circuit than expected. But we're getting a little bit too wide going into the first corner. We're down into P16 and uh Man, I picked up the first of speed going into that turn. There will be a minute 26, but uh, it's a minute 26.8 to 26, but it's not enough. It's, it's still not he enough. To the there he is, get Let's see if we can try again. We had to uh, do it quickly. It is getting better, but we need to get it to at a minute 26. We're just about seven car lengths off the pace. We're going to respawn that one because uh, we just slipped a little bit going into that turn. There was a couple of places I, I needed to hit the brakes hard. Still not good enough. I, I'm still getting a little bit too wide going into that turn. I just want to get it right so I can get a better qualifier. Nope, I, I, over, I oversteered. I want to get it right.
I'm really trying to get. I'm really trying to. Um, I'm really trying hard to get more speed. Well, it was a minute twenty six point six oh nine, but it's still not fast enough. Respawn that one because we just went a little bit too wide going into the first corner. I'm really trying to get the fastest lap, but um, if we can try to get, uh, if we can try to uh, do well. I want to do well here. a little bit of speed there. What I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get a little bit more faster. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a little bit more speed. Uh, I think uh, yeah, see I, I just wasn't ready. It's not going to be good enough. Uh, I, I did my very best, but uh, man, we're going to start in our worst position, the P18. <clears throat> well, we should have gotten a little bit more quicker. Let's we'll see if we can try to catch up into the field and then uh, see what we can do. But that was a terrible qualifying right there. Hello, we're joining you live from the Saxon Ring Circuit. We did everything we could to try to get the to try to go faster. But uh, we're going to keep the soft tires and then uh, and to try to race on through because I know these tires are not uh, very equipped. But we should have went with maybe with the medium setup, and that would have should have uh, that that should have got, got into the, the top spot. But, but I tell you what, this circuit is tough. Well, we're going to keep the soft tires and then. Uh, Getting a little bit too wide going into that turn, and then that's why we lost time. We'll try to take three laps of warm ups and then see uh, what we can do. We're getting a lot of uh, slide going into that turn. 
I think we're going to have to do like a corner exit. We do a corner exit on it, then we may try to maybe advance some resistance here. Well, we had a minute 26.845, but uh, we're going to return to the pits and then uh, get a couple of laps and see if we can try to do a corner exit. Yeah, I'm very sorry about the uh, qualifying. You know, I could have qualified a little bit better than that, but maybe in the next uh, one, when we go to the Dutch Grand Prix, uh, then maybe we provide better results. All right, so um, we're not going to change any tires. So. Here we can see the riders and engineers discussing changes to the bike setup. At times like this, hope it doesn't slow the bike down to it either. And that way we have to do it again. Okay, so all right, so let's see how this setup will, will work on on corner uh, exit. Corner exit looks pretty good, and now we'll see if we can try to get more speed out of the bike. Remy Gardner is the fastest. Man, this is much better. I really like the setup of this better. Look at that. One minute and 26.252. Man, I like that one. Man, why didn't I think of doing that in qualifying? I should have done the, the corner exit uh, in qualifying, and look how my bike uh, performed. It performed beautifully. Man, that, that was a beautiful run, but it drops us into... Um, P8, because uh, Sam Lowe's got a minute 26. He's on the hards and mediums, but remember, we're on the softs. Well, P8 is not too bad, but uh, we can get it a little bit more quicker. Well, we got our work cut out for us because we're starting in T18, but uh, we did a good job in the uh, warm-up. We had a minute 26.252, uh, only two car lengths uh, slower, but, man, if we do the setup uh, during the race, watch out, because we are going to move up. So here we go, getting ready to set for the Sasson Rain Circuit. German Moto 2 race will be Man, let's hope that everybody doesn't get wiped out in the race. See, Remember what happened last season uh, in the Moto 3 series? Everybody was wiped out in the race, and I was the lonely car uh, out there. And it will be cloudy uh, throughout this race. And you see the pole sitters, Remy Gardner and Red Bulls, looking great, greatly in good shape uh, today. But... You know, we have a commanding lead in the point standings, but let's see if we could try to get maybe a top three finish. But we do like the setups uh, better and everything else. And there's uh, Fabio Diacciatino starting in P6. And for myself, I think I'm starting P18. I know it's not a good qualifying and everything, but we will be uh, moving up into the field. And it looks like our setups are uh, pretty good. Let's see uh, what the required setup is. Uh, we're going to go with mediums. Yeah, maybe go with the medium tire compound. 
All right, so we'll go with medium tire compound. We're starting in P18. <laughs> it looks like I'm turning into like Robovox. Remember, he likes to start dead last in there, but he always moves up into the field. So let's see if we can try to do the same thing uh, here in episode number 30. Even though it was a bad qualifying, but we should have started in P8 uh, with, that, with that setup. But I think the bike should be able to do fine, and let's hope we don't get uh, any wipeouts. So here is the formation lap. Man, what a good start for Al Algura. So we see a lot of inexperienced drivers making it into the top 18. And Joe Roberts struggled, and I struggled in qualifying. And now you see me starting P18, so I do have my works cut out, but we will be moving up. So let's see what happens here at the, the Sasha Ring, and anything can happen on this circuit. We saw a lot of wipeouts, so it's going to happen here, but it's not going to be as intense as it was in the Moto Grand Prix. Here we go. Five red lights coming on for episode number 30 here in the Sasha Ring Circuit. Let's see if we can try to make a comeback. Starting from P18, but let's hope we don't get the wiped out in the first corner. And we did get wiped out in the first corner. Somebody made contact with us. I think we just got too much involved in the middle, so that was our first wipeout. Not, not my best stuff. And I get wiped out again. And the, the, why is it somebody? Uh, there's somebody over there that's uh, making contact. I don't know who it is. I'm, I'm just trying to get get through here. And now I get through there. That, that took it took a while, but uh, I'm not tolerating that. that some uh, some other riders are trying to get through. in the P10 after that one. Oh no, oh. I, I, I oversteered the, I oversteered the bike. Man, I am moving up in the field. There's the Yeti. Um, also moving up into the field. There's the Sachin ring. Everybody gets through the Sachin ring pretty well. No crashes yet. Oh, that's the first lap. We've had a couple of wipeout spills. We're moving up into the field. We've already moved up into P5. contact with my teammate, Bietti. We're, we're running in P6 right now, but the, we're doing a nice job out there, but the, it's just like a contagious start.
the 26.517 for Baldissi. Baldissi is now leading this race. to do. That was my first respawn, but it looks like I went too uh, wide in the first corner. Still going a little bit too wide. Mm. All right, let's get let's get back to the beginning because I think I I went a little bit too wide going into the turn. Still running in fifth place, but the, it looks like I lost time on there because uh, because I, I just went I just went a little, a little bit too wide. too wide. I'm right behind Sam Lowe's. Oh. That's already, that's already about four times I fell down in that first corner.
And that's a little bit of a better time right there. Minute 26.333, but it's still about two and a half seconds behind Sam Lowe's. But we're closing in on these guys. And I'm still having trouble with that turn. I think I'm getting a little bit to the... I'm getting a little bit too wide, that's what it is. And look at this, I couldn't even, I couldn't even turn the bike in there. I'm doing a lot of responding over here. To that. This is a tough track, you know? And we got seven more lots of fuel, you know, save a lot of fuel over here. We're keeping it under minute 26, but uh, well, this is just uh, running uh, so fast over here. He's still leading this race. And this is already the fourth time I've, I fell down on the first corner. going to be the fastest lap right here. Minute 26.093 and I'm even better than uh, Bodissi on lap 9 of 28.
Oh no. Uh, just, a, just a little bit too much oversteer on that turn. Man, three of the Sky Racing teams are running fifth, sixth, and seventh. Me, Vietti, and Bassetti. Man, still four of those guys are still running neck and neck. Still got a lot of learning to do about this track. respawn that one because uh, we're sick and tired of trying to uh, uh, trying to have a lot of uh, stoppy problem on, on, on the bike and we're still a little bit too wide I, I tell you this is a tough circuit I, I t uh, this is a tough circuit I know that but, uh, We hit the brakes. Well, the problem is in turn one, I'm hitting the brakes a, a little bit too early. And, and there's like a and there's like a little hump over this hill. I'm just still having a, a lot of trouble going into the first corner.
No, it's, it's still too much slide. Racing it very hard, but uh, I'm having a lot of trouble out there with these turns. Well, we are pulling away from our teammate Vietti, but we're better than the three uh, Sky Racing team. I still set the fastest time with a minute 26.093. This is already the third time I'm having trouble with that corner. I'm just racing it a little bit too hard I'm going into that corner. I don't know how many White House spills I have. I already have about eight White House spills. This is a tough, tough circuit, I can tell you that. I'm just still having a lot of trouble with these corners. At least I'm in the top five, but um, I gotta provide better results. At least our championship, uh, at least our championship is gonna stay consistent. After 15 of 28 laps, let's see if we can try to settle a top five finish. If we stay in the top five, then we can do a good job. But uh, let's try to be careful out there.
Man, we're keeping it under a second, and Bassetti has now moved up into P6, passing uh, his teammate Bietti. And we're still staying consistent out there. We're could be the first one of the season for Valdesi if he tries to hold off uh, the, the two Red Bulls. Man, four of the bikes are still going at it for the lead. Let's hope they all don't get wiped out uh, during this race. They're, just, they're keeping it a good unit right there. Man, this is going to be a great blazing time right here. That is the first time I ever cracked in a minute 25.591. Minute 26.228, we're 3.6 seconds behind Sam Lowe's. And they're beginning to spread apart right now.
You know, you don't have to win every race every time, but you know, um, this is going to be a great top five finish after starting from 18th on, on the place. But I'm staying consistent to stay over at the Moto 2 Championship. We're already after 21 or 28 laps. Settling in for a top five finish, but you know uh, anything can happen here at Softon Ring. But I still got a lot to learn about this track. I know I've been I've wiped out about eight times. <laughs> Man, I just oversteered it. Slipped a little bit in that turn. Still keeping pace with these a minute 26, but uh, I think they're running a minute 26 as well.
my tires are wearing down on me. But after 24 or 28 laps, we're still trying to hold on to this top five finish. Well, I would honestly say I've done a fair job here at the soccer ring, but I've still got a lot of learning to do. We have about three laps remaining. We're still trying to hold on to P5. It looks like Bob Baldisti is going to hold off a, a big upset here over the Red Bulls. You know, Raul Fernandez has had an up and down season. Same goes with Randy Gardner.
boy, here we go. Final lap of this race. One more lap to go. And it's the last time around here at the Southern Lane. This was a tough race. Oh, no. And for the ninth time, I wipe out in the first corner. Keep hitting the wrong button over here. Come on, let's just settle the final lap of this race. Man, I got some serious learning to do next season with the Motor Ground Free cars because uh, that corner over there is very difficult. Final corner here at the Southern Lane. This was a tough race for us, but we're going to settle in for a top five finish. And look at this. Three of us in the, uh, the Sky Racing Team finishes fifth, sixth, and seventh. But congratulations to Lorenzo Baldessari as he wins uh, the, uh, the German Grand Prix. And he upsets the, the two Red Bulls. Raul Fernandez finishes in second, Danny Gardner third, Sam Lowe finishes in fourth. But this was a pretty much of a consistent race for us, but we were, um, but we were seven seconds uh, behind. But uh, what a weekend uh, so far for the NBA Augusta team, as Lorenzo Baldessari wins the race. And we settled for a top five finish. It was a tough race here at the, uh, the Sasha Ring, but uh, we just didn't get the podium that we needed. But uh, at least uh, it will stay consistent into the standings. But uh, we lost a little bit of ground over, um, or even though we gained ground over Marco Bissetti, but Lenny Gardner finishes in third and Raul Fernandez fourth, and even though he's had an up and down season. But it gives us a good cushion uh, for a top five finish and gets 193 points, but this was a very tough race. And with that win for Lorenzo uh, Baldessari, he goes, moves up into P7 in the point standings. Behind Bull Meyer and then Fabio Giacchino and Marcus Schraber rounds up the top ten. But we still get a good cushion into the, um, the team's point standings as Michael Bissetti uh, finishes in seventh place, so we have 305 points. But we get, have a commanding lead in the team's championship over Red Bull KTM HO and Elf Mark EBS Racing. This was Molly Intact and then uh, a Collins Racing team. It just wasn't meant to be, but uh, we had a four qualifying. We started in P18, but we moved up into P5, even though we had a lot of wipeout skills here. But this was perhaps uh, the toughest uh, race that I have ever uh, accomplished here at the uh, Stockton Ring. So this is uh, pretty much the only schedule that, uh, that we have to deal with this tough uh, course. But you know, all the other courses are going to be pretty good, and maybe we'll uh, provide better results in the next one when we go to, um, when we go to the, uh, the, the Double T Ascend uh, circuit when we go to the Dutch Grand Prix. But it is going to gain us some points a little bit, even though we didn't get a front row start, but uh, we're going to lose a little bit of ground here. Yeah, we lost a little bit of ground uh, here, but we should have like, gained a little bit of ground. I think that was going to qualify. But it does gain our credits a little bit because we did have a, a top five finish. But 
it was, top five is great, and then at least we get the frame upgrade, so we get 33% of the upgrade uh, a little bit more completed. But maybe we'll provide better results, and maybe that frame uh, will give us a great handling for the next one when we go to uh, the, the Motel TT Ascend uh, circuit at, um, at the Dutch Grand Prix. Get a top five finish. Uh, develop the engine so the next 10 weeks uh, we have another frame uh, upgrade coming up so and that will give us plenty of boost uh, with the handling of the bike and uh, let's see if it will do uh, quite well at the Motel DS at the Motel uh, TSN circuit well we have 193 points Sam Lowe's is 111 points uh, in the standings so we should be able to do a good job let's take a look at the other series Pedro Acosta's got a commanding lead. Looks like he won the soccer wing again, and uh, and now he's pulling away from the Jamu Massa. And then the Moto Grand Prix, uh, Bonitaro stayed consistent, about 22 ahead of uh, Maverick uh, Vanels, and Jack Miller still in third place. And Joanne Sarko is fourth, and then Francisco uh, Veganelli rounds out the top five. Joe Mir uh, moving up in the field, and he's moved up into P6. So that will do it for episode number 30 of our uh, Motor Grand Prix career mode. Even though it's a struggling uh, qualifying, but uh, we have to have better qualifying so to, to provide better results. But even though the race uh, was great, uh, we moved up in the top five and we did a, a terrific job. But thank you so much for watching here on the Speed Jacob 83 XL channel. And uh, hopefully we'll do a very good job and uh, maybe try to rebound in qualifying uh, here at the Dutch Grand Prix. But, Let's hope we'll see you in the next one and then maybe we'll provide better qualifying results. But thank you very much for watching. So long, everyone.